All right, y'all. I tell you what, man. I just feel like going fishing today. I don't care what happens. I just want to get out there and feel that rod bend. So I've come down here to my favorite place to fish, St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. I am Jared Serenade. This is my show outside the levees. And I just love doing things here in St. Bernard, Louisiana. And I want you to come do it too. So this boat launch I'm using here is called Serenade's Marina. This is a great place to launch your own boat if you come to St. Bernard. We got lodging right up the road there you can stay at. Pull your boat down here to, uh, to Serenade's, put it in get in the water and go fishing that's exactly what i'm doing today i'm going to walk you through it step by step on what i'm doing now the species i'm going to target today mainly is the redfish we've gotten some good redfish reports they're very hardy fish for this time of year when that water temperature drops down into the 50s they can kind of maintain their energy and their feeding energy uh really well in the winter and when the tide is moving like it is right now it's a great time to go catch them so let's get on out there and try to get on these red fish we're going to show you exactly how we do it so you can plan your trip to saint bernard and come do this too <laughs> and we got a very special guest with us today a good buddy of mine mr vinnie hey! from pelican bone outdoors what the heck is pelican it? bone outdoors it's a it's a youtube channel man what yes sir you got a youtube channel i got one of them there youtube channels pretty much do the same thing you do what? man hunting fishing crabbing shrimping whatever, well you know whatever you can eat hell i guess i better go watch it you mean you may you need to check that out yeah i'm gonna go check him out on youtube but uh yeah we got some nice tide movement y'all it tide is moving really well some disappointed duck hunters coming back i bet look my boat's floating in the tide right now so let's just get out there and go see what's happening Finally got one. There he comes. And there he is. Old freshwater cat. Definitely better than nothing. Maybe we just needed one to get the day started. Let's see if we can figure out what else is going on. Oh man, he took it. Golly. Oh, I'm getting another bite over here. Benny! Got yes, sir. Well, I got a catfish I'm trying to get off the hook, and I got another one biting. We will not go hungry. Let's see what's going on with this. If I'm actually getting a bite or currents hitting it, what? Okay, I don't think I got one on here. I'm going to rebate it because something was messing with it. Yeah, he's in the ice chest. Let's see what old Eric got. Oh, it's a real catfish. Not even a hardhead. That's a real catfish. Hey, you can All eat right. them. Of course, you can eat hardhead. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, if they'll hit bite a drop shot, that would be ideal. This one here a bit slow rolling. Got to make him bite. Oh, like there he goes. Bite. Come on. Come on. Oh. Take it. Take it for real. He ain't taking it for real. He ain't for real. Is he for real? Come on. I need him to be for real. He's got a circle hook, so he's either going to... Uh, yep, he's on now. He on now. He on there now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I don't know, Ben. I don't know. I don't know, Ben. Uh-oh. I don't know, Ben. Is it a drum? It's a puppy. It's a puppy. That's a good It's like a little puppy. They got some things rolling around. What's happening, Mr. Puppy? All right. All right, y'all. Little puppy got to go home, but he's cute. He's a cute little puppy. Let me pet him. Go ahead, Mr. Puppy. Good boy. Oh. May not even have to slow roll, boy. I just can't get him to... Little, little pecker heads. Yeah, they like pecking at this one. Oh, he's on there. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. What's a red? Uh, well, top of uh, 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 Hey, you're right, Serenade. Let's go, partner. First target species of the day. He's a pretty one, too. First target species, baby. All right, y'all. We're definitely putting a little pattern together now. It took us a while, but it's starting to happen. We're looking pretty good. 
I don't like it. You need to get on that. Says you. You need to get on that. Quit reeling. Just let it sit. You can't freaking not bass fish, dude. <laughs> Where's your trolling motor? Let me tie in a plastic. Well, I'm not even a bass fisherman. I just happen to. You don't have to do nothing. You just let it sit. Catch more by just letting it sit. So that one's got a circle hook, which they'll set themselves on a circle hook. This has just got a jig head, and I had quite a few bites on this one where I didn't catch the fish. I'm trying to keep it on. Then he might be getting a bite down there. Take it very strange, bro. Oh. I believe What's that is a that's bucket a mouth. That's a green trout. That's a bucket mouth. <laughs> a green we swim. got a bucket mouth, y'all. Look at it. On a oh, swim. I'm eating him. I don't care what y'all say. So I got I another bite him. over here. Man, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, well, I got to catch a fish real quick, y'all. Oh, God. <laughs> Yikes. My poor green trout over there, he's like, bro, let me go. Let me go. What's this? this? What is this? That might be a keeper drum. No, it's no, a little short. A little short on my drum, y'all, but. Hey, this is why you come to St. Bernard, folks. I've caught redfish, black drum, largemouth bass, and freshwater catfish all in the same little spot. And that's why we that's why we do what we do down here in St. Bernard folks got some shrimp from the marina and everybody is here to eat it having a good time with my partner Vinny he needs to get some fish well he's having a good time yeah I, he's having a good time <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vinny hey you're not holding your mouth right son I know man I, I think you just took the good spot nice little fish y'all I'm gonna fish, fish off the yeah. back of the boot so this fish here when they get to a keeping size that's 16 inches He's clearly not that, so we're gonna send him home. Very fine eating saltwater fish though. I really enjoy them when I do eat them. We just gotta catch his bigger brother. And I will say this, I'm catching a lot of undersized fish, but I'm still having fun. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do a little breakdown on the spot and what I kind of you know, came to, to decide on what I wanted to fish. So the key really all to this whole spot is this here. This is some kind of ditch or channel or bayou. Uh, I don't see what's up around the bend. Oh, he's taking my rod. He's taking my rod. He's taking my rod. Well, to, to be continued, folks. Give me a second here. I almost lost it. <laughs> is that the drop shot? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Dude. To be continued. Just give me a second here. I I'm had the line. That was it. Am I rolling? I don't even know if I'm rolling. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, Vinny caught the fish of the day. <laughs> he's not he, even that big. No, he's not. But they just, this, this temperature's got them just to where they, you Dude. know what I mean? All right, so that'll be our first keeper redfish yeah. of the day. Vinny just caught. Anyway, as before I was rudely interrupted. All right, so when I came to choose this spot, I just looked on my Google Maps because we had been trying. That's a big, a larger lake out there. Just right on here is a large lake, right? So I'm just hitting like little shoreline spots out in that bigger lake, not catching anything. Hitting points out in that lake, not catching anything. I said, okay, I've hit enough of this lake, so now I need to try something different. Let me look for a channel. And this was the first one in the area. Um, as you can see, it gets fairly tight. Uh, I'd say that's, I don't know, 30 foot across, something like that, um, you know, 40 foot across, but there's a lot of current, right? And the current is actually coming this way. So when we first got here, I did cast that way and we didn't catch anything. I said, you know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm messing up. I need to be casting this way because the current's pushing that way and fish should be staged up there. And after maybe one or two casts, we started catching right here. So on a day like today you can you know fish the big lakes the points stuff like that if you're not catching find you a, a place where the you know where the, everything is constricted because in the big lake it could be anywhere right unless there's just like something particularly holding on there so i came to this where it's constricted and all the fish are right here 
So that's the spot. That's how I found it. Just looking on Google. I've never fished a spot a day in my life. Um, so when you're out here, make sure you have your smartphone or some kind of map where you can look. There's a crabber there and, and try to find you a spot. So that's how we found it. And that's all I'm using. They had some actually frozen shrimp at the marina. I'd prefer fresh, but that's what they had and that's what we're using. Uh, this rig here is a one ounce weight. That's a pyramid. And then I've got it drop shot into a, a really over too big circle hook, but I'm too lazy to take it off. But uh, circle hook, that's like, dude, that's, I, I don't know the exact size, but that's a bigger one. And um, tie it off with a swivel to my braids. My braids at like 30 pound. This is probably like 30 or 40. Uh, I don't remember if that's floor or not. I believe that's the mono. I think that's like 30 mono. So um, that's the setup. I know that doesn't exactly make sense. So once again, it's one ounce pyramid. Uh, let's say 30 mono tied off into a drop shot you just do a little knot you know about halfway up circle hook i'd go with a smaller circle circle hook if i was re-rigging this and then a swivel tied off to breed so let's start back out there it's getting bites now all right now not that i don't think come on fishy fish There he is. Got that one, partner. <laughs> I love the pool. Oh, the pool, man. We come for the pool. I think I'm over, you know. I think God, that little bitty old thing gave y'all in there. <laughs> Don't be hating on my fish, boy. Don't be hating on my fish. I didn't know we was fishing for menace. He said the hook like, uh, no, huh? like he was moving dick. I'm on a little pod. What he size jig head you got on? I don't have you... a jig head. It's a drop shot. Oh, okay. Is that my problem? I don't know. No, because this is a drop shot here. It's getting bites. Where are you at? You came all the way across me? Where's the wind blowing? This dude. <laughs> That's where the fish are. Fish are right about there. Let it go down. Go down. There he is. Oh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too fun. Oh, Catfish Johnson showed back up. Catfish Johnson, he done showed back up. Man, shoot. Well, Johnson, boy, look at him. Randy, you need to keep something to cook? Do I need to keep it? Catch you some fish you can cook. Alright. He's a little bit small. We'll put him back. Let him go grow up some more. Now I'm curious as oh there, there ain't no bait on that. There ain't no way there's bait on that. But I really don't need to be having no two rods out right now anyway. They bite never cast like that. It's odd that we're catching like no keeper redfish. I think he's gonna show up eventually. That's but I, I do think it, it, you know, it was like all smaller redfish, smaller drum. Um, in that situation, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, like how long you sit and catch those smaller ones and hope a bigger one comes or, you know, leave and search, start searching for bigger ones. If I had all day, I could figure out, but I don't. So I'm going to sit at this spot a little while longer because we're catching fish. It's hard to leave fish to find fish. Get a bite right there. Oh, yeah, you are. Like a All right. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not a big fan of ever leaving fish to find fish. My my hopes is that eventually them bigger ones will come through or uh, a bigger one will bite. Because I do want to still keep, you know, catch a keeper redfish at some point. This could be him right here. It's, it's, it's putting a little pressure now. Let's see. Is, is it him? Is it him? Nope, but it is a keeper drum. Yeah. So... We're having a great time, folks, down here in St. Bernard. You gotta come do it. He started working. Give him that. He started working. Here we go. Oh, here right we by go. the boat, huh? Guys, my saw plastic. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh Bassmaster Classic, boy. Look at that. Look at that. 
the Bassmaster Classic up there. And the downsize, that's all. Look, look at that. I just bit the head oh, off. Look at you. I cut him in half. It's a little cold. You. They don't feel like working for you. That was right under slow. the boat. Too. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what happens when it bounces up and down. Ah, let that go down. There he is. It's a, it, you gotta do the fall right. The fall's gotta happen just right. Come on, baby. Who is it? Is it a drum? Is it a red? We playing a game today, y'all. Is it a drum? Is it a red? Is it a catfish? It is a red. He is a spotted little fella too. Yes, yeah, you gotta, the fall's gotta be just right. All right. Beautiful little guy, y'all. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at the backside. He got beautiful little guy go ahead partner all right and this is the style of fishing i like to do so Vinny early was messing with me about not having a trolling motor which a lot of people like fishing with trolling motor that's fine i hate fishing with trolling motor i don't like to like move around that much and fight the trolling motor in the grass and the trolling motor battery and all those things i like to park in one spot figure out where all the fish are and be efficient being efficient <laughs> is, is is patrolling the banks until you find the fish and then you do this you got to learn to read the water and find where they all going to be. Let them come to you. This is old. This is how the old guys fish that grew up down here. They didn't have no trolling motors, man. Them guys caught boxes of fish. Yeah, but now they With don't shrimp. have as many fish. Huh? Now they don't have as many oh, fish. Come you got to travel to find them. Come on. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, go ahead, Bass Master. Another thing we're doing is just this slow roll. So I've got the drop shot setting out, but this like just bumping right along the bottom. You know, the, the water temperature is colder than these fish are used to. So uh, they're kind of hugging the bottom in a lot of ways. So we're just bumping this along. Drop it. Oh. Go ahead, drop it. Oh. I just have to talk bad about it, boy. It, you, it the crazy thing is I cannot tell the size of the fish. They're just fighting so hard today. They like, might be using that current too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because we're reeling them in against the current. That yeah. makes sense. It looks like a, a nice redfish. Yeah. And I mean them redfish fight pound for pound. More than right. Fish. Boom. There he is. That is a nice, healthy little redfish, y'all. Oh, that's a nice, healthy redfish. Go ahead, hurry up. You better hurry. Nice, healthy redfish. Beautiful. That's why you come to San Bernard, folks. Book you a place to stay. They got uh, Delacro Lodge. Which my buddy y'all y'all stayed at the other day. Beautiful cabins. I'd stay in those in a heartbeat. Launch your boat at Serenades, get you some shrimp, and just experiment from there. You know, I, like I said, today it wasn't the lake; it was the the ditch. Maybe tomorrow it's the lake. Just gotta get out there. Um, when you see like the tides real low, you kind of want to be careful. Follow crab traps, but today we got a, a nice higher tide. So I don't have to worry about getting stuck. Well, I never have to worry about getting stuck with my motor, but you know, you follow crab traps if you're not familiar with the area. Don't be afraid, you'll be fine. And uh, get on down here, because the fishing's good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my drum. My drum I caught. I can clean my drum, we're gonna cook it right here on the boat. All right, that's the one wonderful thing about the water being so salty right now. I can get some salt on my fish when I go to rinse it there we go rinse off that drum I'm gonna get that fillet off of there and we'll start cooking out here all right y'all it's getting pretty hot I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil mm -hmm. so like I said I've got the drum and the catfish 
We're gonna. Oh man, that's the sound I like. That's what I'm talking about. Get it all in there. I got some just regular old taco seasoning. Taco. Taco. Less sodium. I'm sorry, it ain't regular old. It's less sodium. You can have really break it down. There we go, bro. Build, dude. All right, flip it over. Get some taco seasoning going for us. Ain't nothing perfect about cooking on a boat. And it don't need to be. Just got to be edible. But I believe it's going to be good. All right, there we go. Everybody's got a little seasoning on them. I'm going to let that cook right quick. Got it nice and hot, so it shouldn't take very long. It might do it, though. Sounds like it's good. I know. Come on, baby. Flip off the... Cooking on bar or okay. Oh no, it's it's fine. Oh, okay. okay. I was about to say, man, that pan's still yeah, right? pretty good. I am gonna flip up on it still, try and get it. Alright, y'all, my fish is done. We just need to get it out of there on some plates. Thank you, Vinny. Got some catfish and some drum, y'all. Two bottom feeders. We love to eat shrimp. We figured them out. Get all that, bro. Get all right. right. I'm gonna turn it back on. All right, I need the oil somewhere behind you. All right, next I got this Uncle Ben's Spanish style rice. We're just gonna put that in and let it warm up real quick. This stuff is already cooked. It's great to take on camping trips, on boat trips like we're doing today. And uh, so you can add your fresh fish with it. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of oil just to kind of bring it to life a little bit. Y'all hear? So when the first time I cooked with this camp stove, the wind, you know, we thought the wind was getting it. But man, this thing's at 10,000 BTU and it's in the wind right now doing a great job. So I definitely like this little camp stove. It's made by a company called Eureka. I was able to get it on Amazon. Uh, like I said, you look at, make sure you get the 10,000 BTU. Just trying to break that stuff up a little bit. As it heats, it'll break up. But there it is. And the fish and the VIN. We're doing all right, y'all. All right, y'all. Fresh as it gets right on the boat. That's really good. It should be in a taco, though, I will say that. Rice didn't really do what I wanted. Got these big nasty chunks. But sometimes that happens, you know. You gotta make the best out of it when you're surviving out here, you know what I mean? I don't know if this is catfish or drum. That's like drum. That's drum right there. Oh my goodness. That drum is the ticket. Rice and everything, but so the pattern we fished today. Um, started off very cold in the morning for about the next two or three months it's going to be like that you'll have warm stretches and then we'll get a big front cold stretches so you don't have to get out super early we didn't get out super early you don't have to come and get out super early but definitely rent a place to stay that's how you're going to get the full experience you get to stay down on the bayou launch your boat at serenades I would definitely definitely come uh, this month is fine but next month february is when mardi gras starts and we do have a mardi gras parade here in saint bernard and that here's what that looks like look super fun to you uh i'll put i'll post the exact dates right here when it's going to be this year so you can come on down 
enjoy the Mardi Gras parade and do some fishing and get to eat some king cake and just experience the New Orleans area during Mardi Gras. So plan that trip, come on down, visit the website, visit St. Bernard so you can pick all of your stuff you wanna do, the places you wanna stay. And we can't wait to see you when you get here. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm.